Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing tie-dye chameleons on the sheet of paper. Now, I'm not sure about the tie-dye part because uh, it's in my sketchbook and I'm not sure how much of you guys have watercolor at home. So I'm just going to eliminate that completely. So instead, we're just going to do normal chameleon and uh, we're just going to call it, uh, we're just going to color it normally. So anyways, let's get going. Alright, so this is my tie-dye chameleon or I should just say chameleon <laughs> from a couple of years back and I drew it on this uh, sheet of paper which was watercolor paper so I could have the ability to color it if I wanted to however I understand that some people don't have that ability to do that at home so instead we're gonna be doing it on just a regular sheet of paper so what you're gonna need is a regular sheet of paper um, something to draw with and that's all you need so anyways as always when it comes to remote learning coloring is optional now with that said let's get going so the first thing um, I would like to do is draw where the tree is going to be located. So I like to pick the left side and I'm going to tilt it a little bit. So of course here's my tree trunk, just like this. And then I'm going to draw the branch where it's going to sit. So I'm going to go like this. And actually I'm going to make a branch stick out the bottom a little bit. And I'll continue at the end. So I'm going to outline this in marker so you guys can see a little better. Now before I do that, um, I notice, <laughs> I'm glad I caught this. Uh, I noticed that I did some leaves and I want to do that first in marker because I won't have the opportunity to erase marker later so with the leaf there and I think a leaf a couple other places like this just like this maybe one side like that I'll do three and then maybe a couple more leaves on other places uh, it'll allow me to not be able to erase that later on here we go so now I can trace it properly and notice how I'm not tracing this part of the tree I just kind of go around there like this all right, so now, once I'm done tracing, I can move on to the chameleon. Now, I don't want to trace the top part of this uh, tree branch because you can see uh, the chameleon is going to be um, grabbing onto the tree branch. So I'm going to leave this part untouched. So let's start off with the chameleon. So first of all, I want to draw uh, an eyeball. So it's going to be the size of like a quarter, just like this. And then to make it look kind of like a chameleon, I'm going to make a glassy eye by just creating like a little bubble. So it's kind of like a floating bubble. And then, if you want to add some more detail, you can add another one right there. And there we go. So now we have the chameleon eye. All we need is the mouth, head, and then the body that we're going to do right now. So anyways, all right, here we go. So what I like to do for the mouth is I like to include it with the nose. So here's the nose. But then notice how the mouth is the same line, just like that. And then I'm going to do the bottom jaw right below it. So I'm going to go in a little bit, kind of do like a nice line like that. And then for the head, kind of like a mountain. Woo! There we go. So now we finished the head. Now for the legs, the legs are kind of simple. You kind of have to add a bend right here. And then after that, all you gotta do is kind of make a cashew or a peanut shape. And that way it looks like he's grabbing onto the branch. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this leg to this head. And then to do the other leg, I'm just gonna kind of follow this line just like this. And I'm gonna stop where the tree branch is. So if it's hard to see, I'm gonna trace it right now. So what I just did was I made the eye, right? Made it glassy by making like a bubble. I made the nose and the mouth together. Made the bottom chin. Made the top of the head. And then I made one leg, just like this. Made his foot look like a cashew. And then I attached the leg to the body. And then I made the back leg, or sorry, the leg on the other side, kind of on the other side of the branch, just like that. Now, uh, with that said, what I'm going to do now is I'm kind of create the back leg and it's kind of having, so have you ever seen like a dog sitting down, its hind legs are kind of like up in its body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve like a big number three right here, just like that. So it's kind of attached to the, um, it's kind of attached to the branch like that. And then what I'm going to do is kind of curve it up a little bit, just like this. And that's the leg. So what I'm going to do now is kind of connect this to the rest of the body just like so. Now, if I want to put the back leg like how I did on this one behind it, you can kind of go like this. But for me, I'm going to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to make sure I complete the branch first. And then I'm just going to kind of mimic this other line. Just like that. Now, when it comes to the tail, it's kind of simple. So I'm just going to make the upper body first. And then I'm going to spiral the tail like this going up. And then I'm going to spiral back the opposite direction. And I'm going to connect it like that. 
pretty easy, right? Now, chameleons do have spikes on their backs, so if you want to start from the head or the tail, you can. And then as you get to the tail, just make sure your spikes are a tiny bit smaller. So I'm gonna go really tiny here to the point where it's just gonna be dots. There you go. And then to make it more of a jungle theme, I'm gonna add some more leaves, branches, and maybe a scene in the background. So here I go. Maybe I add a hill back here. Maybe a hill over here. Uh, maybe a body of water right there. And maybe another hill right here. Um, let's see, maybe a mountain coming through. There you go. Woo. Hmm, maybe another mountain on this side. There we are. All right, now I can add some more branches going the opposite direction. Maybe some leaves to go with them. Maybe some leaves up here. That looks really good. And I think I have some room down here. Maybe some wild grass. Just like how I did for the parrots from a couple years ago. I think from another project you guys did. <laughs> I'm not too sure. And then finally I'm going to add some clouds. Kind of clouds behind everywhere to make it look like it's in the distance. All right. All right. Ta da! All right. I. No, I think I'm gonna add more. <laughs> there you go. All right. I think that's enough clouds. I went cloud crazy. All right. All right. That's my chameleon. Um, so, what I'm gonna do now is color it a little bit. So, let's fast forward and here we go.
Um, I think I'm done. Oh, I missed a little bit of the mountain over here. Um, I think I'm done. Um, I was going to do a blue sky, but um, I decided to do a sunset instead because it kind of uh, made the chameleon pop out more. Um, so we'll talk about color theory more later. But um, I'm glad I did the sunset because it looks a lot better than I imagined. So anyways, um, that's my chameleon. Uh, and I think it turned out really great. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.